You already know it, Shannon Marie. Good morning, you guys, and welcome to today's vlog. I was supposed to wake up early, first of all, to start the day off with baking banana bread. But because I'm so used to waking up late, I'm just waking up not too long ago. I had to get myself washed up, and I was supposed to go out today like just driving around to look at like houses and stuff i looked outside and this is what i see like i'm not understanding why it's snowing outside it's a disappointment because i thought today was going to be a nice day when i checked the weather before i never said it was going to snow but if it if it keeps snowing, then I might not leave the house today. I was going to drive around with my boyfriend to go to Toronto and just look at all these rich people houses. <laughs> There's nothing else to do, so we thought we would make time and go and do that. But yeah, I braided my hair, guys. It's not like the neatest job or the best job, but I ended up braiding it because I'm going to be giving breath soon and I needed something easy to do with my hair what I did was I cut it in quarters so it's not that long it's kind of past my boob or like bra strap length but I just wanted something that I can just throw up in a bun it's very lightweight so as you guys know the sides of my hair were very short so last time I did single braids I woke up and the braids were on the pillow so I waited a little bit longer for it to grow more so my hair grew a little bit more and instead of single braiding it from the root i just use elastics hopefully this way lasts longer because i'm not trying to take it out at all but it does feel more secure because when i pull on it and stuff like that it doesn't come out so i was wondering if i should put these cold clips or if i should just leave it like this i don't know maybe i might just leave it like this oh it stopped snowing let me show you guys I mean, there's still some flurries outside, but it's freezing. But in my house, it's always hot, so standing on the balcony right now is giving me some type of refreshment. But yeah, I'm going back inside now because it's too cold. Today's quarantine vlog is just going to be so boring, but I just thought I should do a video. Why not? You guys can probably watch me bake banana bread. There's nothing else to do. So back to when I did my pregnant morning routine vlog with you guys or video, um, I was showing you guys my skincare routine as well. And ever since then, my skin has been flawless. Like from what it was before, like getting pimples and stuff. I have one here, but it's going down. Ever since I've been using my Teeny Blend Detox Mask and my Vitamin C Serum, my face has been clearing up like no tomorrow. About like four times a week, I'll use this mask right here teeny detox mask it's a green tea blend that has matcha lemongrass and clay in it so it's all natural anybody can use this for all skin types whether you have combination skin oily skin or dry skin you can get a lot of uses out of this because we don't use a lot i keep it on for like 15 20 minutes until it gets hard on my face and then i wash it off and after i wash it off I go in with my Teeny Vitamin C Serum, but it's almost done, so I need to order more. This is tea infused serum, so it, it has vitamin C and hibiscus. And the best thing about this is that it dries in 30 seconds. So like when you put it on your face after you wash off the mask, it absorbs so fast in like 30 seconds because it's water-based. So you don't have to be like trying to blend it in your skin for like the longest time. After 30 seconds, it kind of just dries and absorbs and it makes your face feel tight and refreshed and like, you know, blemish free. So it's still my favorite product and I would still recommend it to you guys to get. If you guys want to or if you're interested in getting those two products, then you guys can go to teamyblends.com and order your detox mask and your vitamin c serum they also have a whole bunch of other stuff on their site and then you guys can use my 25 percent off discount i'll leave it in the description box below and i'll also put on the screen for you guys my discount code is s m y t 25 who doesn't love a great discount because i sure do so go over there right now and order your face mask guys because without it 
I don't know. You guys are missing on a lot. But anyways, I'm gonna go make some banana bread. Can you use this? What? No, I'm gonna use something else. This is breaking. Yeah, it's been broken. Okay, so I'm gonna make banana chocolate. No, should I make chocolate chip? One I'm just gonna make regular banana bread. First things first, we're gonna need three ripe bananas. And when they look like this, it's better. Trust me. He's making banana flitters. Three bananas and mash them up. So after you mash up your bananas, you have to get your dry ingredients. So we're gonna need two cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna need one cup of um, granulated sugar. We're gonna need a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. A tablespoon of cinnamon. So the next ingredient that we're gonna need that I saw online, it said baking soda and I was very confused because not everybody uses baking soda to bake, but I've been using it and nothing has happened. It tastes really good. So we're just gonna do, I think, a, ta a teaspoon? A teaspoon of baking soda. So. I have my mashed bananas and then I have my dry ingredients. Now I'm gonna do the uh, the wet ingredients. So we're gonna do one tea oh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So my boyfriend doesn't really like chocolate chips in his banana bread, so I'm just gonna add a little bit, just a little bit. But normally if you did wanna add chocolate chips, you only need a half cup, or you can go for a full cup. But for me, I'm not gonna really measure. I'm just gonna kinda sprinkle a little bit in. So that's all I'm gonna do. Now we go in with our eggs. That's one. That's two. So that's in. Can't really see, you don't wanna spill it. But you're just gonna whisk the eggs and the vanilla together. And then the last ingredient that you're gonna need is your butter. So we're gonna need one cup of melted butter. Um, I don't like the taste of the stick butter, so I'm just gonna use the one in the container. But I'm gonna melt that on the oven, and on the stove, sorry. And then I'm gonna add that in last, you'll see. You guys will see. So I have my baking pan here. I'm gonna grease the sides and then use parchment paper in the middle. I'm just gonna use all of this. We're just gonna mix all the dry ingredients together. And then we're gonna add in our eggs and the vanilla. So we're gonna mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. So when you mix the eggs, it's not gonna like all mix all up together you have to add in the bananas and then the butter so don't be worried if it's not like um don't be worried if it's sticky we're gonna add in our bananas now but we're only gonna add in a little bit at a time so i'm just gonna add in that much okay maybe a little bit more now we're gonna mix Mm, yummy, yummy. Yummy in my tummy. Okay, so we're only gonna mix a little bit of the banana at a time.
can do. I don't have no arm game for this. Okay, now we're gonna add in the whole thing, cause yeah. So now we're just gonna mix it. So you just have to keep mixing until all the flour gets dissolved inside. And don't worry if all the flour doesn't get um, dissolved with the uh, batter because you're gonna, you still have to add in your butter. This is what it should look like after mixing. You want to put it? The batter looks like this. Oi. Nice and smooth. I have my parchment paper that I got from Bulk Barn. I'm going to grease the sides with uh, butter. Because... I don't have the spray. I don't have the vegetable spray. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pour the mix in the bowl or in the pan. I like to that it's you know evenly distributed so there's no clumps or anything but yeah so this is how it looks when everything is in the pan and now I'm just gonna put it into the oven and I'm gonna bake it for an hour an hour and 15 minutes but I like when the top is crunchy so I might keep it in for like an hour and 25 minutes so yeah all right you guys so the banana bread is done or I should say the banana cake is done <sighs> I hate the fact that I get out of breath so quick now. It's so annoying. And guys, please don't mind the miscoloration because during the pregnancy, my neck got a little bit darker or a lot darker. So that's why the difference from my makeup and my neck looks different, but yeah, don't mind that. But um, yes, I just finished getting ready a while ago because we're, we decided to go leave the house. Because it's boring, there's nothing else to do. It's pretty cold outside. So obviously we have to dress warm. And I'm going to get a piece of the banana bread and drop off at my mom's house. And I also have packages to pick up that people have bought me for the baby. So we're gonna do that. So yummy. We finally reached the bridal path. That's on. Wonder who lives there. Drive slow, yo. You're driving pretty fast. Look at this. The man made sure that his whole entire house was covered. I need the security in the SUV right there. The embassy. Imagine being Jake's neighbor for real. Anyways, you 
you guys i'm gonna make this the end of the vlog because i'm kind of tired and yeah it's been a long day not like we've been doing anything important but we just decided to come out the house to we look on Dracos. yeah and because there is so much um like what do you call it the, um wow we're passing again right now literally there was so much um i don't like the the top of his house though like it looks weird i don't like that and this is his front gate the security's like why do they keep passing over here but we're trying to find our way out he's smart with that reflective thing over there you can't see nothing in his house nothing but yeah um we just came back the most modern like <clears throat> i keep getting backs and things and they hurt not like badly but i guess i'll i'll know the difference between a Brax and hicks and a contraction when the time comes but look at these houses yo but yeah we're probably gonna head back home now because i guess we're done looking at the houses there's so many nice houses around here if you guys want to know where this area is it's called the bridal path in toronto so no, wait, North York? Yeah, North York, Toronto. So if you guys want to ever visit here, then you guys can come and look at all the rich people's houses and all the expensive cars in their driveways. But, yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Lay that on that beat.